Good luck. All right, this shall be exciting, getting an opportunity to play against such a very strong opponent. Um, we will play the best we can and try to calm down and also be respectful of our opponent's time. They were very kind to have met with us. Um, so yeah, I... Uh, let's enjoy this game. Um, all right, so our opponent is rated three Don. We are and has gone eight and zero in this tournament so far. Um, I need to be a bit cautious in all phases of the game and play the best I can. Um, I also need to calm down a little bit because I'm very excited to play such a strong opponent. Okay, uh, I believe the bishop exchange here is reasonable, and I could follow with a dropping my bishop on the wrong diagonal, attacking the base of the silver, attacking toward the king. I've not fully castled my king yet, which is concerning, but also concerning is the silver, which is imminently crashing in on the left half of this board, especially on my bishop's head. So... Um, I think of most interest here is performing this exchange. And um, since this exchange has been done, we should follow it by attacking the base of the silver and attacking toward the king. And now where I'm confused is that my bishop is misplaced. Um, and they likewise threaten a bishop drop in my camp. I think this is the best way to resolve this tension. I don't know. Um, right, they defend their castle, and my bishop is awkward. And I've lost the ability to drop my bishop in their camp, but I think my bishop is... Not poorly placed. I should continue building my castle. And I'm watching. I don't see any imminent threat. Oh god, that's embarrassing. Um, I think this is still acceptable. Right, so here we are forced to sacrifice our bishop, and sh so we shall. We do get a general in exchange for it, so our opponent has both bishops. That is profoundly concerning. On the other hand, our king has found some shelter. So I should build this to protect my king. Um, so I need my pieces to be active if I'm going to have any chance in this game. Um, I have my rook in the center. It's not yet active. But retreating it would not help me here. Pushing my center pawn would only 
result in me losing the rook. This silver is the next piece to activate, although it allows them to invade. Um, I need a pawn in hand. If I'm well, my king is exposed. This is concerning. Um. So I'm spending so long to think of a move because I am at a profound loss for an idea. The best idea I have is advancing my silver, which is going to lead to tremendous heaps of trouble. Um, but there is some excitement in that, too. Yeah, let's... I think this is my best move. I did read this out. Let's just spend a lot of time reading it anyway. So this does have the disadvantage of allowing their rook a clear access to the left half of the board. It has an advantage that I can start to, um, with the silver in hand, there are things that I could achieve. Um, I should also, I don't know if I should move my rook back right now, which might lead to problems, but might also save quite a few Embarrassing tactics. No, I need my gold to be defended. So I was also considering now they don't have a bishop, I might as well bring the knight out, right? But then this allows bishops to be dropped in my camp. And my knight's not so effective up there. Um, still, if my knight's back here, it's even less effective. Okay, I need to protect this diagonal against my king. I don't see anything better than using my knight. Um, God, this is this is embarrassing that I have blown this so poorly. Um, he's done very well here, uh, but my position is crumbling in an alarming rate. How do I attack? The best I can figure is that I need to restrict their pieces. All right. Uh, so I have to capture this unless there's some trick here. And I'm not seeing any trick here. So we take... 
drops the pawn back here. This gives him a tempo to activate his rook. And since he's done that, um, I'm no longer at risk of losing my gold general here. And I question what's the best use of his tempo. Okay. My king is exposed. I don't want to split my castle, but I want my generals as close to my king as possible. Um. I also need this silver if I'm going to attack. Okay, what do I do about this? Clearly his attack is far faster than mine. Um, taking only accelerates his attack, right? But also not taking allows him to... What would he drop in front of my king anyway? I'm not seeing it. He drops a silver after I exchange silvers. That's a problem. I need to capture this. I don't want to, but I need to. Um... Early escape of the king is worth eight moves, they say. We'll find out if that's true. I'm not sure if my king escapes this. It's pretty bad, but um, escape is important. I just don't know if I successfully escape. So that shuts down my possibility of a king side attack. Um whatever possibility that could or might have been. My king is not safe still. Um, exchanging silvers is not that beneficial to me still. Oh, he intends this pawn advance next. I see. So do I need to put my pawn down? Attempt to hold the fort somehow? I think so. All right, now if I take, um, I mean, again, I'm accelerating his attack. Oh, oh God, that is beautiful and horrifying. All right, um, what do I do about this? Does my king run again? Uh, 
Yeah, my king's in trouble here. Okay, let's continue running. This is sad. All right, so I can I think I can stop the bleeding for one turn. Um His attack is devastating, but perhaps I can stop the bleeding. Alright, so as much as I want to take on 5-5 five five and ask him what's next, uh, I think taking this silver is probably the more prudent thing to do. That way stuff doesn't immediately drop on my king's head again. I'm in check. I think this is the only safe escape, as terrifying as it looks. I think this is best. And I think next I need to hit this gold, exchange it, pick this silver off, run away with my king, and pray. Or I could run back one with my gold, but this isn't going to end well. No, okay, I do need to retreat. I can't give up the only thing capable of defending my king. He saves his silver. My gold is trapped. Um, this is sad. This is an unfortunate state to be in. Um. <laughs> Yonju 
Okay, we need to attack. Sorry if I've been yelling, I've just been very excited. I forgot that I had the microphone so close to my face. Okay, my gold is lost. What do we do now? I need to take this and run like hell. Alternatively block this bishop and hope that the block works. Why not both? All right, I've been intending night takes for a little while here. Night takes surely must be my move here, although it gives him a knight, and I don't want to give him a knight. I'm not sure what I'd do with a knight. Um, I could also run away, but then he drops an... Well, that's not so bad. No, it is. Sanjudio
30秒40秒50秒I think this is the move that defends all the squares next to my king, so I could bring... I don't know if I want to bring my silver up or not. My rook is trapped, which is depressing. Um, I'm almost certainly in grave danger here. But the square right next to my king is protected even if silvers do get exchanged. If they push this pawn, then I could take here. What I'm sorely lacking in this position is a plan. Other than hold on and hope. Uh, I guess they're planning also to invade on the fourth file here. I don't have a... Maybe this is where I need my rook is on this fourth file. If they sack for this old... I'm not sure what I do. Well, if rook takes, they have a silver drop. So we have to do king takes if they... Okay, well... Oh, wow. That's not expected. I know I said if they push that, I just take this pawn, but... Um... This is awkward to me. Oh! Oh! That... That is very awkward. That hurts. Lots of possibilities there, but I think I selected one that's reasonable. I suppose they get an entering king this way. And my own king is imperiled. But there's nothing I can do to save my king at this point. I'm sorry, I can run away with my king. Yonju 
I'm not sure what I have planned here. I know I need to attack, or I'm hosed. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to sack my gold for a knight, just to prevent their king from entering. I'm not sure if I'm going to sack a pawn so I can pursue their king, and it probably does securely enter somehow. But I get a knight. Um, I'm not gonna sure if I'm going to move the rook over to try to protect the knight. And that surely can't end well. Um, Oh, oh, that is clever or nice. <sighs> um, that is one way to gain a tempo. That is one very powerful way to gain a tempo. I phantomed a tactic. I thought I saw something that's not truly here. Um,
30秒40秒Well, I have to take the bishop, right? Um, Well played, I think. Okay, this is checkmate. Yeah. Uh, thanks to my opponent for being very willing to accommodate my schedule. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, well, there were some challenges scheduling the game. We got the game scheduled, we got the game played. I'm very grateful that we did get the game played. Um, so let's take some time to review this game. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate that this ended up not being the greatest schedule for either of us, but we got the game scheduled and it's fine. Um, yeah, my opponent had offered to play a bishop exchange opening and instead I had uh, deferred and deferred and deferred on the bishop exchange. I decided to push on this edge to apply some pressure. Yeah, welcome. Um, sorry, I'm still extremely tense from having played such a magnificent opponent um been pretty intimidated th throughout but things worked out um so yeah here um i was a bit divided i couldn't remember if i'm supposed to bring the silver to the left or to the right or push my center pawn or otherwise finish castling one thing that is evident is that this sort of attack is coming uh with this sort of thing so oh this is one possibility another possibility is that this comes out this way and again um there's a lot of pressure a third is that these bishop exchange is possible in numerous positions i'm i don't know everything about this opening um but yeah there's quite a few possibilities here um, I decide that I want to try to protect the 5-5 five five square here. Let's see, we have uh, a viewer offering a comment. Yeah, let's uh, see if we can get through the analysis. It's a difficult position. I don't expect us to solve everything at once. Um, I'm not sure if the bishop exchange was a good idea or not. I saw if I don't offer this exchange, eventually... This is a weakness. I do need to find some way to deal with it, but also I need to castle my king. Um, so this, uh, yeah, this is interesting. Um, in the interest of the viewer's time here watching this video, uh, I'm not going to dawdle all day guessing what it is I should have done. This bishop drop was not good. This was the first huge mistake. Um, I was concerned about this, 
Uh, however, I have a couple possibilities to deal with this, and I have to deal with various threats they have on their end. Uh, they still have this as a threat, this is still a threat. Um, they're still intending to complete their castle, and they'll do so faster than I will, because I contributed this move to them. Um, but yeah, I think in retrospect, this was a better way to have gone. Um, so it's not entirely clear how this could have continued, but um, they say you can be good at the opening and great at the end game. And with as much experience as my opponent has, he is very good at the opening. So yeah, this got my bishop trapped. If I were to play this, I have to follow with either this or that. I have well, this is not so great either. Um, this uh, runs into a similar problem. Maybe this could be survived. This is not so bright, but it could be survived. And no, it can't. Just kidding. Um. Yeah, they could actually sacrifice their silver here to win my bishop. So this bishop drop was atrocious uh, and cost me my bishop. Which ended up be a, being a problem for the remainder of the game. But that's uh, what it is. Um, yeah, so I guess another possibility. Uh, instead of this, well I could have played this up, but then again this allows the bishop drop. And I have to sacrifice my rook if I'm going to do this. So yeah, this bishop drop just loses material. Um, there's no saving the bishop, but it's okay to lose material. I did get a gold for my bishop. Perhaps this was... I don't know whether or not they had better than just winning my bishop for a gold. Ordinarily, winning a bishop is a really nice experience. Winning a rook is a nice experience. However, um, it's possible that perhaps they have a more profitable way to take advantage of this position. Uh, on the other hand, if they're breaking up their castle, it has to be worth it. Um, and so, yeah, they have to seize the moment now. And I, maybe this is not so bad. I was not happy about this, but yeah, they have two bishops in hand, which means slowly I will eventually get ground down, um, so I need to make the best of each move here. Um, so yeah, I see that they have, well, quite a few things. So one, potentially they are going to take control of this diagonal against my kinks. I need something to prevent the traditional mate that works against the Mino where this bishop and eventually a knight, and then this happens. So um, this was preparatory for that. This dissuades their knight from advancing on my king. Um, this is really slow, but I don't have anything faster. If I move my silver, I just end up in trouble. So I have to try to slowly proceed up the board and make something of my difficult position. Um, this probably is incorrect, but again... I'm virtually in Bioyomi at this point in the game. Uh, this might have been a safer move, but I was concerned about this possibility. Um, and I guess this could occur. Uh, and then they drop back. This still could have been best, but I could not think of any way to continue in this position. I just couldn't figure it out. Um, perhaps I have this here. And supposing they were to take, I would have a gold drop, and this could be somewhat interesting. Uh, so I think instead of pawn takes, I think, well, no, if they opt for gold, uh, silver takes, I have a fork eventually here. So yeah, I think this is perhaps my best try for activity in this position, assuming that they do this, and they might not. Um, like, as nice it is to get a pawn in hand, because that helps their attack, there's a lot they can do with two bishops. Um, yeah, this is still a very difficult position to try to save for me. But, um, 
in the game we played this and uh, my opponent showed a convincing attack against my king. Um, so I did the best I could to withstand this attack. Uh, the, uh, I don't know about some of these moves. Like, Pawn Takes Pawn looks very nice optically, but I think it might be a bit rushed. Uh, possibly more effective would be, like, bringing this knight out, putting one of the bishops on the board somewhere. Um... It just feels like there's something here that they could do to more actively uh, attack my king than simply exchanging their best attacking piece. Um, yeah, I guess another possibility, instead of pushing this file, like, well, no, pushing on the edge doesn't actually seem to work. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's curious. Just feels like there must be some way they can surround my king without exchanging their best pieces. And there probably is some way, but um, in a 15 minute w uh, game, it's a bit tricky to find everything. And their king is very soundly defended, so uh, they have a nice position regardless of whether this is their best way they can attack. It is a way to attack. Yeah, it looks pretty compelling. Um, yeah, I thought surely... Oh, okay, so yeah, this is perhaps something they didn't anticipate. Because otherwise they break in on the side of the board and it's pretty clear what's going on. But here... Um, well... I was too chicken to play this. Maybe this is playable. Um, <sighs> this just opens a constellation of tactics when I'm already down material, but this might have been the right way to go. Um, I guess all I can do is leave this as an exercise for the viewer, because I don't know how to go about annotating this. It's a very complex position. Yeah, I keep looking and looking. I'm just not seeing anything clear here. Um, If they exchange too many pieces, their own king is imperiled, so they're not doing that, but... Uh, yeah, I wonder what their next move would have been here. I'll analyze this offline. I don't need to spend everybody's time. Uh, yeah, I chickened out and swiftly came under attack. Uh, yeah, so when they played this, I realized that uh, my gold is trapped, and my knight is trapped, and my king is trapped. And our opponent played very nicely through to the end of the game from here. Uh, I did the best I could to withstand the attack, but... Um, yeah, they just... This is a good place to move their king. If you go down, the if you proceed toward your back rank, that makes my pieces more effective. So proceeding forward means I've got to find some way to attack this king that's approaching my camp. Yeah, I think we played good moves from here, and he just outplayed us. Move 85 had potential. Okay, so we're suggesting instead of something around here. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. When it comes to end games, I mean, they say you can become great at the end game, but also pros recommend uh, that you study like actual sume instead of uh, spending all day looking at your own end game. Like you want to improve at your own end game, um, but uh, eighty six aiming for the bishop. Yeah. 
you want to improve your own end game skill. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean studying your own end games. Unlike chess, where I found a tremendous return from uh, if I've lost a game, looking at the final position and then working my way backward to find where the critical points in the game were. In this, uh, like, you can have end games where there are multiple inflection points and still um, that's not going to help you improve at every generalized end game unless you study generalized uh, end games. Because pieces keep re-entering the board. There's just too many shapes to study. Um, yeah, so they have to aim for the knight. Um, because of... Yeah, this gold move secures the square that my king is on. Without this, I'm super dead. Um, with this, I'm just dead. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, they had to aim for the knight, and then I, the more I looked at it here, I realized that knight takes pawn is just not at all worth it. Not even close, even though the knight can come back and start trying to chase the silver and other pieces. This is the only piece I have to try to surround their king. Um, so, like, if my knight goes off into Never Never Land, um, it's not coming back. My king falls under a swift attack somehow after this doesn't even really matter how my king falls under attack it's this is just not salvageable this knight's way too far from their king i have a knight i have a knight the rest of my pieces would love to participate in an attack but yeah um i'm just there's really nothing for me to do here um so, and this all stems from me having lost the bishop earlier, but I think more to the point, uh, what was it? Oh, getting my gold trapped over here. And the reason I got the gold trapped is because I didn't take here. So I think this was the final opportunity I had to try to play, um, I do surely come under a severe attack here, but we need to weather the storm and hope there's a sunshine and rainbows and stuff on the other side. Um, that said, uh, this might this is probably nothing either. Like, yeah, okay, I take your silver, you take my silver. You, like, I'm losing the house here, but um. Assuming I don't take the silver, I could maybe attack. Um, but I don't think this is going to turn out favorably. Um, so, it was a challenging game throughout. Uh, we'll let the engines decide, like, from here on out, what the end game should have been like. The other insight that maybe I can make is that my king doesn't belong right in the middle of this storm. So running once more might have been effective. But I don't think so. I think I'm in really deep trouble either way. And if I don't start fighting back somewhere around here, my king's just going to get bullied and there's not a lot that can be done. Yeah. Was there a forced mate? Again, I'd leave this to the engines to figure out, is there a forced mate? Is there not a forced mate? It, for humans, you should study the simpler sume first, and then work your way up to positions that'll happen in real games. So, um, maybe there was. Could have been. Uh, it was a very interesting game throughout, regardless. Uh, yeah, they played carefully this game. I have to give credit where credit's due. So yeah, uh, congratulations to Maxime on their 9-0 victory over the entire field. Very well played. Uh, thanks for taking the time to play a game with me. Uh, I will study this uh, a bit more with an engine offline, but these are just my initial thoughts on the game.
Um, so yeah, congratulations, well done, and uh, best of luck in whatever next tournaments you choose to play in.